Well, hello. Good to see you again. I'm so glad you're tuning in. I am here in Hanford West, and I brought you to a real secret little spot. It is a beautiful place. It is the outdoor tennis courts and a bowling green. Phenomenal little beauty spot. I'm going to talk to you in this video about the power of words. Hey guys, Bishop Kai here. So glad that you're tuning in. Yes, it's been a long time since I made another video, but I am so thankful that you take just a few minutes to be with me right here on YouTube. If you're new to this channel, you may want to click the subscribe button, hit that bell to get notifications. It's going to be good for you. I post some pretty good stuff, even if I do say so myself. But today we're talking about the power of words. The power of words, a single word, can change your life. You don't understand the power of the things that you say. See, your words are giving yourself life, shaping everything. Your words are affecting your life. You couldn't believe the power of the things that are coming out of your mouth. It's phenomenal. It really is. So, let's talk about it. Let's have a little conversation, you and me, about the power of words. I'm thinking about the things that we say. I'm trying to get my mind to shift into a better understanding of speaking life over myself continually. I'm trying not to verbalize some of my emotions, some of my feelings, some of my, my negativity, because we all face it. We all have to deal with it. We all have that element within our life. As much as we try not to be negative, situations happen, conversations happen people happen that can change the atmosphere change the mood change the situation that quick and you have to learn to overcome those things by the things that are going to come out of your mouth because everything that you're saying is giving life to events that are happening in your life my spiritual father dr murdoch says this the words that you speak are shaping your world now, i'm not talking about like this beautiful place i'm in right today I'm talking about the very world that you're living, the things that are happening to you. You know, they call it the law of attraction. The, the thing that you focus on is the thing that you attract. But too often, that thing is created by the very words that we speak. You never guess who's here. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, it's Lady G. <laughs> hey, yeah. How come you're up here? Well, I wanted to take a break. <laughs> what are you doing? Shoot my vlog. Oh, right. I'm on your vlog. Well, You're on my vlog. Hello, everybody on Kyrian's vlog. <laughs> okay. I tell you what, let's do this. Ready? One, two, three, professional mode. So, I am here, and uh, as you can see, I'm not alone. No, Hello. you're not. Hello, mm -hmm. everybody on Kyrian's vlog. Yes, we are here in uh, the top part of Halford West. We just the, bumped into each other, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're way out of your your uh, jurisdiction. <laughs> <laughs> jurisdiction, that's a good one. I, I was going to say where to your comfort space, but because this I ain't know. close to where you live. It's really beautiful here. Um, really, really beautiful here. You, you'll probably hear some voices in the background. We have some children playing tennis in the background here, but. If it's not raining in Wales, we say it's a lovely day. And today, as you can see, it's a lovely day. It is the sun shining. It's not too cold. The wind's disappeared. And this tiny little park right here, right at the very top of Harvard West, is, is nestled away with a couple of tennis courts and a, and a bowling green. It's a really nice little spot. Yeah, it is. It is. I love the trees. I love being out in nature. You kind of appreciate the things around you when you're when you're surrounded by these beautiful we don't have a lot of flowers yet uh, but just the greenery just the greenery the dafts came through really nice this year oh for some too early. who don't for some too who don't early. know what that means the dafts the daffodils the daffodils yeah <laughs> i thought you were talking about me then no, no. so come on what then. have you been doing today then i'm i'm just out doing this record the stuff for the blog and, and uh, What's your, what's your topic for today? I, well, you know, this morning when I wrote my blog, I right. wrote about the power of words. So I figured I'm just going to 
I'm just going to deal with something on that. So come on then, give us your most profound thought on words. On words? Oh, well, as we all know, you know, your words carry a lot of power. Your words are very creative. We look at God in the beginning and he created this whole universe by speaking a word until it came, of course, to us. But just in that, we know that there is power in our words. The Bible actually talks about, you know, the tongue. Um, we've got to be so careful of the words that we speak. We've got to be careful the words that we speak, not just over other people and things, but words we speak over our own lives. You know, Dr. Murdoch said something so profound the other day, Kai. He said, if you don't have right words in your mind, then you will have wrong words in your mouth. And that really is so true because what you feed your mind is what will ultimately come out of your mouth. And that is how powerful words are now. He, he then links that with speaking scriptures, getting scriptures within you, you know, uh, thinking, you know, things in the word, thinking on scriptures. Because if you feed your mind, if you feed yourself with the word of God, then what comes out of you is going to be the Word of God. And we know that when we speak the Word of God, when we decree and declare the Word of God, we speak good things over ourselves. That's a really good thought. Yeah. You know, it, uh, <clears throat> you've probably heard me say it quite a lot of times because I tell people that a thought is, a thought has potential, but a word has power. Absolutely. You know, your thought is just a, a potential. It's waiting to happen. The moment yes. you speak it, you give it power, you give it life, and it's people don't realize it's the speaking of the things, even the most inconsequential things, like we say, you know, when you make a mistake or you do something wrong, you say, oh, stupid me. And you're giving that power, you're giving that a, a life in your life. People don't realize that the necessity of truly speaking the right things over their life for the right reasons. That is true. Do you know you saying about the, the thought just being a potential? We were talking last night on on our uh, Wednesday night live or our Facebook lives that we do you were talking about we were, we were we were looking at the topic of finding your purpose and you were talking about you know how sometimes it's not good to just have potential mm. because potential means nothing do you want to touch on that quickly well to me it's quite simple you know every person has potential every single one of us you watching me Lady G sitting here next to me, we all have potential. The problem is that potential is a completely inanimate force. If potential was all you need, every single one of us would achieve. Yes. But many people go through life never achieving anything, never succeeding because they never fully understand that the potential you have to, to achieve is not enough. Potential to me simply means you have yet to achieve something. Yes, it's Every not the end product. No, no, no. And that's coming back to what you were just saying about words. Mm. When it's just a thought, that's not the end product. But the moment you start speaking those things, you are now creating, you are now putting out in the atmosphere what you have been spoken. When my children were little, let me just say this, when my children were little, Kai, I had to be so very careful. When your kids are naughty, you know, for parents out there, sometimes it gets too much for you and they don't want to listen to you. And guess what? You will say, why are you so naughty? You know, why are you so unruly? Do be careful, even in those moments that you are frustrated with your children, be careful of the words that you speak mm. over that little child. Because in hearing those words, they start believing it. Now, very important that we are careful with the words that we speak. Because we do not know who hears those words and believe them. Because how many times, Kai, have we taken on things that have been said over our lives, over us, that have been negative? and we lived into those words because we believed those wrong words. So words in, in, you know, in, in all of it, it, it is so powerful and you can look at it at so many different angles. To me, it's my age old adage. You've heard me say many times, what you repeatedly hear, you eventually believe. That's true. That's why you've got to be 
be 100% certain that the words you're structuring, the words you're shaping, the words you're speaking, that are going to enter your hearing, because remember they come out of there and go straight into there. You have yes. two ears to hear twice as much as you say. Um, they're the things that will create your, now psychologists call it cognitive behavior, your subconscious. They're the things that yeah. are going to, to reprogram your mind. Paul talked about you know being conformed, uh, being not conformed, but being transformed by the renewing of the mind. And I've spoken before on the, on the vlog about the subconscious. Reprogramming your mind is to reprogram your subconscious, your cognitive behavior. And it starts with the words that you hear. Even when you don't have somebody to speak good things over your life, you need to speak good things. You need to be, let me use a really poor term, but you need to be your own prophet in your own life yes. and prophesy the things that you need for God to do and that you need to happen in your life so that True. if you repeatedly hear it, you'll eventually believe it. We are the ones that create our moods. It's not somebody else's. It's not somebody else's job to create my mood. If somebody did come into your day, gave you some information that caused you to feel a little bit off, it's your responsibility to change that by the words that you speak over yourself. So there you go. That's a good thought. I'm glad you ran into me, by the way. I look a bit scruffy, but thank you for running into me because this no, was fun. I look scruffy. I think you look a million dollars compared to me. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. It was a really good thought. I'm glad I ran into you. Yeah, me too. I'm glad you ran into me as well. Everybody. Lucky me. <laughs> I will link Lady G's YouTube channel right here below. Thank and, you very uh, much. So you can check her out. Thank you. Now, you enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I will. I'm going to split. See you all in a minute. That's my thoughts, and wow, you know, got to see Lady G as well. Fancy that. Bumped into her right here. Mind you, this is the town where she lives, so it's hardly surprising that I would bump into her at some point. She shared some phenomenal thoughts, but I really want you to think about the words that you're speaking. If you truly, truly understood the power, the story that your tongue is writing all the time, you would really craft your words far more carefully, far more strategically. You know, when I teach in the pulpit and when I'm outside it, I'm very, very deliberate in the things that I say. You better believe if I say something, it's because I truly mean it. Because I know the power of the words coming out of my mouth. Not because I'm a preacher, simply because I know the power of the spoken word. It really makes you think. It makes you think about all the times in your life when you've said things that now you regret the fact that you know we said stupid things or we said hurtful things and i'm just as guilty as everybody else so i'm not trying to make out like i'm some saint or super spiritual because i'm just as guilty of it i've had arguments even with lady g as, as you know one of my closest friends and i've said the most horrendous things once it's spoken you can't take it back so now i gotta say something to counteract the things that i've spoken we live in a world, we live in a universe that operates by cause and effect. If you cause something by your words, then your words better be the effect that changes that. I am so thankful you stuck around long enough to watch it out. That's me done for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, if you're new to this channel, click subscribe, hit that bell to get those notifications. I'm not quite sure what else there is to say. Enough of my words. See you all in the next video.